it has qualities of magical realism, but it is basically a, it's a fairy tale, um, and Jack plays the main protagonist. You can take over here. Well, yeah, one of them I'd say. I think it's yeah. I play a, a character called Peter, who's an orphan and lives with his guardian, Vilna Lutz. Played by me. Played by me. Um, and I think what what we what you sort of find when, when the, the play starts is a town, like a community that's in complete sort of desolation in the aftermath of a massive war. So in a very sort of shorthand way, the piece is about people's individual dreams and wants and things they feel like they need versus a sense of community and a sense of empathy and how maybe changing your focus from inward to outward to your community can help you find the things you really need. It's got some real heart and, and I suppose quite scary moments that to, I think, well, personally, the Countess can be. Is, we I'm haven't not, done the second I'm terrified part of you for the entire show. He, yes, um, <laughs> Sam, as the Count, is basically completely terrified of me. Um, and most people are. Uh, but uh, I think towards the end, the Countess can be pretty grim. Mm. Um, so, um, I, I, but then there's some really, really heartwarming moments. And the elephant is. Just breathtaking. We find. I, 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 I went. What is the word? And I'm like, I'm speechless. It's, it, it's li it is breathtaking. I play the narrator, um, and I'm sort of like, in my head, a mixture of like Doctor Who and the trinket collector in the Labyrinth film. <laughs> so that's what I'm going with quite squeak for. <laughs> Um, and, um, yeah, I sort of, I've been everywhere, seen everything, been to every universe, seen all the stories, seen all the sort of eras, periods, and I collect stories along the way, and I'm fascinated by this story, because primarily I think it's a story about hope, and it's a story that deals with grief and love, and like you say, coming through something traumatic as a, as a city and as a nation, which I think has never been more prevalent. It's really exciting because one thing I was worried about during the pandemic I was worried that it would just be old shows that would come back and people wouldn't want to take risks on making new things and the show has sort of remained the same but everything is much more poignant than it, it was maybe previously because I think the whole show being based around a community that has suffered something together and has coped as a town and how they've helped each other through it. I think everyone can relate to that. I'm having so much fun. You, you, yeah. you asked about our connection with the piece. Um, you know, it, it's been in development for five years. You know, the, 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 the care that the RSE puts into things is second to none. And, and, and to no, the people. And to the people. No, 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 no. Well, exactly. To the Sorry, people. I no, to us. No, 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 no. You're right. You're right. It's, it, it's, it's a whole aesthetic that takes care of everything and everyone and it's why you end up with Les Mis, it's why you end up with Matilda because there's the time and resources and care and nurture, and nurture that's able to make it happen.